In front of a scorched Nissan Stadium crowd on Sunday, the Titans defeated the Bengals 27-3 after putting on a complete and dominant performance. The Titans opened up a sizable lead in the second quarter with 21 points, and they never looked back. With the victory, the Titans climbed to 2-2 and regained their confidence. Cornerback Christian Fulton noted that, the Bengals, have made the playoffs and the AFC Championship two of the last three years. We can now realize our potential after competing against a team of that caliber. The team we recently played is a great one. The Titans also got back at least a little bit of what they had lost to the Bengals in the past during this process. Kevin Biard, a safety, said, I would say we owed them. Naturally, for, the playoff game, and they defeated us at home the previous year. Ryan Tanhill, the quarterback for the Titans, completed 18 of his 25 throws for 240 yards and a touchdown during the game. The runner Derek on 22 carries, Henry gained 122 yards and scored a touchdown. In the course of the game, Henry also threw a touchdown pass, moving him over Oilers veteran Earl Campbell into second place in the team's record books for rushing yards. The Bengals and quarterback Joe Burrow were smothered by the Titans' defensive tenacity as they settled in. Burrow was harried the whole day, and despite his minimal success, he was sacked three times and completed just 165 of his passes on a day when the Bengals only managed 14 first downs. The Titans had a great day all around. Coach Mike Vrabel of the Titans stated, what we're trying to do is play complementary football. Feed off of each other, fuel each other, and act with a certain degree of speed and violence. Kicker Evan McPherson's 21-yard field goal gave the Bengals an early 3-0 lead. But after that, it was exclusively Titans. Nick Folk's 53-yard field goal from the Titans' end of a 15-play, 40-yard drive nodded the score. Folk performed flawlessly that day and throughout the first four weeks of the season. Tannehill's touchdown pass of 13 yards to receiver Nick westbrook Ikine gave the Titans a 10-3 lead after a stunning five-play, 78-yard drive that also featured big passes to DeAndre Hopkins and tight end Josh Weil. On a 29-yard touchdown run by Henry, the Titans were back in the end zone in an instant. Ty J. Spears scored on a four-play, 79-yard touchdown drive that included featured a nice completion to westbrook Ikine in a 22-yard rush by the rookie. With only 10 seconds left in the first half, the Titans maintained their lead by scoring once more on a two-yard touchdown pass from Henry to Weil. On the play, Henry was positioned in the Wildcat formation, and after the snap, he successfully completed a jump pass to Weil in the end zone, igniting a frenzy throughout Nissan Stadium. Tanhill praised the stretch's huge plays and 21-point surge, saying, it was a lot of fun. We were effective, and it helped us open up some plays down the field. Being able to crank those things up is advantageous for the Titans. In the first 10-22 of the second half, the Titans put together a 15-play, 65-yard drive that ended with a 35-yard field goal by Folk. In this one, the Titans continued to swing until eliminating the Bengals. The Titans returned to action against the Colts in Indianapolis on Sunday, so they will now focus on their first opponent from the AFC South division. Henry remarked, it felt good. I thought we were playing complementing football in all three phases, firing on all cylinders. It was a fantastic team victory all around.